you will see inequalities on the new PSAT. And as the episode title suggests, one thing to remember about them is really inequalities are just like equalities. They're just like equations in that all of the rules that apply to equations apply to inequalities in terms of how you manipulate them. There's one additional rule, which I'll mention towards the end of this video, that applies just to inequalities. But otherwise, you set them up and solve them pretty much in the same way. So don't be intimidated by questions that are inequalities because you know the, you know the rules, you know how to handle them. So to cut a lawn, Alan charges a fee of $15 for his equipment and $8.50 per hour spent cutting a lawn. Taylor charges a fee of $12 for equipment and $9.25 per hour spent cutting a lawn. If X represents the number of hours spent cutting a lawn, what are all the values of X for which Taylor's total charge is greater than Allen's total charge? So let's focus on each of these per pieces. We want to know when Taylor's total charge is greater than Allen's total charge. So let's figure out their total charges. So first we'll do Taylor. Taylor is this one. So he charges a fee of 12 for his equipment and 9.25 per hour, X being the number of hours. So he's gonna charge $12 flat fee, and then 9.25 times X, because he earns $9.25 per hour, and if there's X hours, you multiply them together to get the total rate, the total fee. So that's Taylor. Now what about Allen? Allen is $15, and then 8.50 per hour. The question's asking, for what values of X are Taylor's charges greater than Allen's charges? Now, on a question where it was more about equations, they would ask you, for what value of X is their total charge equal? And in that case, you would just set them equal. But here, we want to know when is Taylor's charges greater than Allen's. So there you go. You can see it in the way I said it. So we're going to take Taylor's 12 plus 925X, and we want to know when his are greater than Allen's. So we're going to write Allen's, which is 15 plus 850x. Notice right away, since we've got a greater than sign and not a greater than or equal to sign, we can get rid of B and C because those are less than and greater than and equal to signs. And we don't want that. We don't want the equal sign. So it's either going to be A or D based on that. So what we do now, like I said, you just solve it like you would an equation. Just because it's an inequality doesn't mean it doesn't follow the same rules. So I'm going to subtract 850 from both sides, or 850x from both sides. And that's going to get me 12 plus 0.75x is greater than 15. And now I'll subtract 12 from both sides, and I get 0.75x is greater than 3. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 0.75. We don't have a calculator here, so to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to make this 3 quarters x, and then multiply both sides by 4 thirds. Just a little bit of a manipulation to just make the math a little bit easier. And when I do that, this cancels, 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 I get x is greater than 4. And that's going to be choice A, and that's the answer. So as you can see, inequalities follow more or less the same rules as algebra, and you just solve them accordingly. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, one rule is a little bit different for inequalities. And that is if you multiply or divide both sides of your inequality by a negative number, you actually have to flip the sign. So as an example, let me make one up. Let's say we had negative 2x minus 7 equals negative or is greater than or equal to negative 2, let's say. So we would solve this. We'll add 7 to both sides and nothing goes wrong. So negative 2x is greater than or equal to 5. So everything is normal. But now when I divide by negative 2, you have to remember that you're not going to get x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves because you actually have to then flip the sign. So you get x is less than or equal to negative 5 halves. So that's the only rule. When you divide or multiply by a negative, you got to flip the sign. But otherwise, the approach to solving inequalities is just the way you would solve equalities, or aka equations. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.